kidney transplant is actually a medical treatment for patients who have kidney disease of end stage nature who required some form of renal replacement therapy. It is a surgical procedure whereby we remove a kidney from a healthy donor or a diseased donor and surgically implant into a patient with end stage kidney disease in hope that the uh, kidney will now take over the function of the two sick or diseased kidney of the uh, patient. The uh, trouble with kidney disease is that a lot of kidney disease do not have any sign at all. You are completely healthy and uh, only when you do a medical checkup or when you are very very sick that you start to have symptoms. And uh, symptoms can actually vary from uh, simple frothy urine, swelling of the legs, passing a lot of urine frequently especially at night, feeling tired all the time and a lot of other non-specific symptoms. And only by checking the blood will we know that the patients have kidney disease or not. Uh, most humans are born with two kidneys and in a way uh, there is no problem with one kidney provided that the patients both the kidney are functioning normally. And uh, most of us actually before donating a patient to donate kidneys, most of us will actually evaluate the patient properly and ensure that the patient should hopefully survive the lifetime with one single kidneys. In fact, there are quite a number of patients who are actually born with a single functioning kidneys and uh, because they are not tested, they are not aware of that and they have a healthy normal life. It is very important for us to ensure that every single potential donor would be evaluated properly to ensure that they are healthy after donation. So in patients that we suspect to have a potential risk of developing kidney failure and this patient would not be suitable for uh, donation. This includes of course patients who have diabetes, especially those with a lot of complications, patients with poorly controlled hypertension, patients with underlying kidney disease to start off with and patients who we think that the kidney would in future fail and of these patients we would not want them to be donors. This is important that we evaluate properly so that they have minimal side effects after donation uh, to ensure that they would not have the need to go for dialysis or a transplant after several years after donation. Of course, we know from our experience that there's a slightly increased risk of uh, developing protein in their urine. There's slightly increased risk of having hypertension, but we want to ensure that those we donate have the minimum risk to start off with and that their kidney is enough to last them the lifetime. The recipient actually, compared to dialysis, of course, will have better uh, survival outcome. They will live much longer. They will definitely have better quality of life. It's also important that because they are transplanted, they do not need to go for dialysis three times a week if they are on hemodialysis or do four times a day if they are on peritone dialysis. It is important that after transplant, even though they are healthy and feel normal, they must continue to take medications, what we call anti-reject rejection medication that will prevent the body from rejecting the new kidneys that we have transplanted to them. If they do not take the medications, the kidney will fail and they will go back for dialysis. So even though if they are transplanted, they are well, they must continue to take the medications that have been prescribed. After renal transplant, because the kidney function is uh, near normal now, patients actually, most of them will return back to normal. They, they can go back to work. In fact, they become fertile and can get pregnant again. Compared to dialysis, which most of them will be uh, non-fertile. So definitely they have a normal healthy life. They go back to what they were before they have end stage kidney disease. Uh, in principle, actually, whether they are different group, it is very similar to a uh, blood transfusion, which means that if you are a blood group A, B, group A, B, you are a universal uh, receiver. You can receive kidneys from any blood group. While if you are an O, you can receive O and you can receive the other group. So un until recently, most patients would have to have compatible blood group to do transplant. But uh, in recent years, with improving technology, 
even the blood group are not similar or not compatible, we call that we can still perform uh, transplant. These are called ABOI incompatible transplant. I think that my main advice is mainly for the uh, potential recipient. I feel that all patients who have kidney disease, of course, end stage, should consider kidney transplant before considering other form of uh, renal replacement therapy. In other words, kidney transplant should be the first choice and one should only consider uh, dialysis if there is no potential option for transplant. This is because uh, kidney transplant provide the best outcome, patients definitely live longer, provide the best quality of life. And of course, uh, even though it's not important, but it's also the cheapest cost of treatment. In fact, uh, I always believe that uh, kidney transplant is the only example where it is both good and cheap.